Welcome back to the channel. We're coming to you live from the past to react to Eminem's Godzilla. We've both heard this song. It's 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 an old song. A, a nice a drunk member of the stream requested this. They spun the wheel and the wheel demanded we recorded this. So they, they got lucky. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I could swallow a bottle of alcohol and a <laughs> Feel like Godzilla breathing out my asshole. So this, this, um, this is a fun song. Unfortunately, it inspired so many cringe songs in fast raps. Like even more than did. Rap God did. It did. But it at did. least this song, I, I haven't heard it in a minute. But I remember enjoying it as a fun this, song. We have to put the copyright of, up so we can upload it. A lot of people it. fucking. This start. This started a whole bunch of cringe, dude. Especially yeah. in the YouTube rap. Yeah. Commun community. For some reason, when people hear someone rap fast without any substance, even. I did a remix of this song, literally They're called like, Loser. I'm talking, fucking coming so hard. I literally, I made a remix of this song called Loser, talking about being a loser, because I was like, I feel like that, if you're not being ironic, don't, don't try to do this. Like, even Eminem in this song is being ironic. That's what made it work. He's being a goofball about it. But these other no, dudes. No, you're good, Deadpool. We like the song. These other dudes go, no, he's, he's not crying about that. These other dudes go oh. in there and try to be fucking dead ass serious doing stuff like this it doesn't work the reason it worked for eminem is he was being goofy about it anyway rant aside let's listen to an old an old an oldie at this point three years old you're a monster i can swallow a bottle of alcohol and i feel like godzilla better hit the deck like the cartilla my whole squad's in here walking around the party a cross between a zombie apocalypse and bobby to I have to say, on his um, "Music to Be Murdered By," this is the only song that I liked and listened to multiple times. Um, I was there another song in there that I'm not thinking of. This is the the second version of it, "Music to Be Murdered By." No, this was the first one. Are you sure? Yeah, the the I didn't even listen to the second one. The second one's the one that had like Alfred's theme, and I remixed that song without ever listening to the original because I thought that'd be funny to do. Um. But this no, is the I've first never. one. Then I don't know. All I know is I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Big nerd. <laughs> this it's song, actually my my shower curtain. This song was Godzilla. fun. It still is fun. Coming back to it right now, I'm still enjoying what I'm hearing. I remembered I didn't like the rest of music to be murdered by, but I liked this song, and I think mm, I still. I like do. Nat. I really like Nat. The end of Nat. Oh yeah, Nat's fun with the trumpet. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But I didn't go back to that song a lot. I, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't go I back did. to I did. I just go to the end because all the other parts were fucking gay. Godzilla, I went back to a lot. I really liked it. Thank this. you for the Honestly, tea. Canadian Ty skipping the line and immortalizing Canadian himself Canadian Ty. In the stream that while we're recording. What a legend. What a dude. I could swallow a car like what? Godzilla. What? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Okay, let's get back to this. Heenan, which is probably the same reason I wrestle with Mania Shades and his bitch I'm posse up. Consider it to cost me a costly mistake if they sleep in on me. The hoes better get insomnia. ADHD, hydroxy cut. Test the worry, fuck off. This song is good. It's so fun. Get out. Uh, of old Eminem is infinitely better. I will say that. And I know he probably hates hearing that. And I know that. His fans hate hearing that, but I resonated and loved old Eminem. It was, but it I like this because it reminds me of the goofy old Eminem. Song. But it is fun. It is like, fun. This so is this of, is this is like fact. So yeah, exactly. So much of old yeah. Eminem was dumb like this, and I liked it. For because sure, it's self-aware dumb. Like the video is self-aware dumb. Like he's Blue not. Yellow, purple, he's not trying to be the dopest <laughs> rapper alive in this song. He's just having a good time, and I fucking, I like that. That's part of old Slim Shady energy. That's probably yeah. why I liked this song. It reminded me of but, Slim Shady Energy with just some of the yeah. New this this Slim was Shady definitely tactics. one of the best, if not. Well, I like Nat, but this was. Uh, I mean, was I'd have to I'd have, have to make a list, but this one might be in my top twenty of all of M's songs, to be honest. Holy fuck! I'd have to make the list and look, but I liked this song a lot. It's a lot of fucking fun, and tech like and he's got a lot of technical skill in this that he doesn't in other of uh, some of his older songs, which I appreciate. I probably have like three full albums above this. Now, see, the, I, I, honestly, a lot of Eminem's old stuff. There were a lot of songs that were skipped for me, to be honest. All of the Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah, I see, loved. there's a lot of skips on that album for me. Ah, uh, I know, I know.
I'd have Fuck, to do even I, infinite I, I, fucking infinite's good if you can get some so of the remastered good, ones because the recording quality is rough on some of the old ones. Uh, but I'd have to put it together. It might not crack the top twenty, but it, it the the fact that in my head it could possibly be in there just says a lot because of other Eminem's modern stuff that it's not even in the <laughs> not even in the discussion for me. But this song, I'm like, yeah, it might be. What's modern? Are you talking like recovery? Like um, 2010? Do you... Recovery. I think for every me was... song on recovery is probably better than this. recovery for me was his last like good album. Like was good mostly front to back. Um, but you know, modern Eminem probably starts with what the. Uh... I mean, I love when he got his angry modern. bag, bro. Like the white America, the soldier. America! Uh, recovery is kind of I'm modern Eminem, da, 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 but da, 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 I, if we're talking like real modern Eminem, it starts with that fucked up album. What was it? Um, that shit album. Walk on Water one? Yeah, that fucking I actually, album. the song Walk on Water, I didn't hate that much. What is that album called? What is the uh, album called? Uh, oh shit, I don't fucking know, bro. Let me check it out. Revival, thank you, Hatoma. Revival. So, Revival. Revival sucked hated it featured everyone fucking trash. there was some things on there that i didn't hate and kamikaze, then the following up after that kamikaze had like five songs i really liked revival's the american flag one right yes trash hated that yeah that was that i didn't mind one. castle i, I didn't, didn't mind like the ed sheeran that song that uh, he did that with too. fucked it i didn't yeah. mind hated it um kamikaze had like five songs i liked and then you have marshall mathers uh, music to be murdered by one and two right it's came after that yeah and i didn't like after kamikaze those. yeah yeah i didn't like either of those i just like uh, there was a little bit on there like a couple of songs that i somewhat enjoyed I like the even, ending of nat i didn't even finish the second half of kamikaze uh, was nice not all of it but i liked it so maybe maybe my favorite Lucky eminem songs dope. are hiding on music to be murdered by volume two but i didn't even finish it so yeah, yeah i stopped kind of mine a lot i stopped kind of listening because i don't enjoy the no, I don't want to say the flibbity hibbity stuff. I don't really care to sit there and bend my mind trying to figure out different schemes and shit. I like songs that sound good. I can like, have the fun most with that in the right context. I, it's just like, how serious are you trying to be is how much I'll listen. Because if you're trying to do hippity yeah. flippity shit with a real message, you're going to lose me. Be ignorant. I just feel like his like, like the, um, what do you call it? The the Eminem's like new like his like choppy chopper flow type shit is not my thing, man. Uh, I've liked it in Godzilla and Rap God. The only times I've liked him doing it. Yeah, uh, I liked. I didn't mind Rap God. Yeah, that song was fun. And but, it, you know, if you're gonna flex, he he's earned the right to flex every now. And but then. when I think of his fast songs, the songs that he did fast, I'd say No Love with Lil Wayne is no love was better than one all of them. my fa- one of my favorite Eminem verses of all time is his verse on No yeah, Love. It's fantastic. That's one of my favorite Eminem verses on <clears throat> any song from No Love. That is such a good. Verse. It is. It is sad. And the flows on it are so. Man, he's had such crazy. good features too, dude. So like best crazy. friend with Yellow Wolf is so good, dude. Yeah, good shit. In AA with an AK melee Drop Finna set it like a play date Better vacate, retreat like a vacay mayday This beat is cray cray ray J H A H A H A Laughing all the way to the bank I spray flames that cannot tame a placate the monster See the problem is Rappers like YouTube rappers and stuff They they see that what just happened They ruin this And they take that But they try to apply it to being like the coolest dude of all time And it's so cringy Because Eminem's, Honestly, Eminem's like it, not it trying to be suck. the coolest dude of all time right now He's just fucking around in the booth so don't don't try to be cool because you think Eminem was cool. He wasn't trying to be cool. That's what made it cool. You trying to be cool will, makes it fucking lame. I will say Eminem is the only person because he started it with the when I, I, the amount of rappers, especially like spit the fucking venom. white. Is that where you're going? Spit and venom yeah. and poison and fire and the bars that I spit. A lyrical miracle, super villainous. I'm venomous. Sorry, Ronnie Radke. I just like that shit is just it's not so it for me, bro. Well, the thing is, Eminem it's, is the it's, only it's one fucking cliche. He, he started that it's bullshit. fucking cliched at this point. If you were the only one to have said it, all right, cool, you said it. Now everyone said it a thousand times. It's fucking cringe. Like, I do be fucking cringe, dude. Like, if you weren't, if you weren't on it first, just get out. Stop. Make make up your own thing. You get in my way, I'm gonna feed you to the monster. monster. I'm during the day, but at night turn to a monster. When the moon shines like ice world truckers, I look like a villain out of those blockbusters. Fuck to the fire, spit a monster. Blood on the dance on the Louis V carpet. Fire, fuck to the fire. LG product placement. LG was desperate and it didn't help them. I don't even know nope. if they make phones much at all anymore. 
She just keeps licking it as they move. Like they told her, you gotta keep licking it at the same rhythm. Just lick you think she song. gave a fuck? She was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> she's like, I'm in an <laughs> Eminem video. She's still licking it, by the way. She has not stopped licking that basketball. Ah. Bitch tasted fucking rubber for the next week. Probably got icing on that side, bro. Like a fifth of vodka when you twist the top of the bottle. I'm a monster. You get him all. Eminem still with his fifth it. of vodka, always, always, always making it away, making a way into his songs, man. Hey, Slim, I drank a fifth of vodka. Dare me to drive? Yeah. All the time with the fifth of vodka, dude. Every time. All right. I'm gonna feed you to the monster. I'm normal during the day, but I ain't like to do it. 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 This is one of the only things of Juice World I've ever listened to because I've not really dug into his catalog. Really? Yep. Uh, uh, There's a lot like, of his songs. Seems that like I really music like. I would like. Before Juice World, I know this is what people say, but before Juice World was popular, I'd known at all. Uh -huh. I was listening to some of his shit, dude, and I was like, "Damn!" It was, it was before X X X X Tentacion died. I was like, I was really vibing with him, dude. I was like, "This is a good." I was. He's got that little sad boy. I was accidentally stuff, I making it. melodies for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, he had kind of started to pop off back then, but I was making melodies that got sold to his people and put into his music back in twenty what year? Seventeen. 2017. Yeah, I was listening pretty early on. Um, He's got some nice he, songs. When the, X died, that Legend song was so good. By the dude. time I knew who he was, you know, when they bought those melodies from me, he, I think he had just gotten around a million subs on YouTube at that time. So he, like, he had notoriety, but he really seemed to get big, like, right before and after he died. He started popping off, I think, like, really, really popping off after. XXX Tentacion died. He dropped that legend song about him and Lil Peep and like Mac Miller. When was type that? Vibes. Was that 2018? 2019? Like 17. 17 was around. Yeah. <laughs> what was the album that. That album with the car on it? Yeah. What's that album called? Uh, Diablo or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't pay attention to albums and shit. I just listen to songs. Oh, yeah. uh, it was released in 18. Okay. That's what I thought. Anyway. Uh, but I've never really got into his catalog. I did find out uh, at least one of the songs that one of my melodies was used on through because I was curious. So I was like clicking through songs really quick to see, and I found it. And I was like, "Oh, there, there's me! Yay!" And I saw how many views it had, and it hurt my soul. You know what it was? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. NDAs. I'd get sued into the nether regions. Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so. Yeah, I was like, oh, there it is. Found it. Ha ha. On the Louis V carpet, huh? It's fucked up. What's fucked up? Being sued? No, I think, For... I think you know, just realizing that the industry gets a lot of their stuff from uncredited people is what they're saying is fucked up. That That's just how it works. Did they not pay you? I mean, they, they had already paid me for the, uh, the... It was... Bro, this was literally through fucking Fiverr. Right, I was selling beat packs, not beat packs. I was selling melody packs to a dude in Germany. All right, so here's melodies that you like MIDI file melodies that you can put into any software and attach whatever instrument you want to it and make your songs out of it. You know, make loops out of it. And so I was selling packs of melodies because people aren't creative enough to just make a fucking melody to a dude in Germany who would sell it to everyone that he could. And then one day, this dude who I've been working on at Fiverr is like, yo, you got to come, like, do this meeting thing and sign these documents because a, a big artist is using these melodies and they want to make sure that nothing comes back to them. So I had to sign NDAs and shit for, uh... Because I'd already given up the rights to it when I sold it to the German guy. They were just dotting the T's, or dotting the I's and crossing the T's to make sure I wouldn't try to fuck them over some other way. Um... So it's mostly a formality at that point because I'd already given all the rights to the dude who bought it from me, but they still traced it back to me to sign the NDAs. So. 
Yeah. So, yeah, if you listen to a lot of industry stuff, it's not out of the realm of possibility that ghost writers and ghost producers from websites like fucking Fiverr.com made some of your favorite songs and some record label got millions of dollars to not pay the person that made the melody and then not pay the artist that they put at the front of the melody that they didn't pay for. Um, That's how the music industry works, that, ladies and gentlemen. That Lotus, the Lotus dude we listened to at the start, he was coming up with Drake and then they had beef. And then Drake silenced, ended up silencing him from like, or like apparently like silencing him from like everybody because they both live in Toronto. Yeah. So he kind of got fucked because of that. That's Dr- Drake's style. And yeah. there is, because I've listened to a lot of Lotus's shit and I've been like, why is this dude not popular? And then that kind of makes sense, dude, because that shit moves. happens. Yep. Industry, baby. Apparently he be stealing from Matt all the time. Drake does. Drake steals from everybody, bro. Raise it. Drake's whole team. Nobody, uh, no one on that team's done anything creative once. Cause I'm about to set trip. Vacation plans. I'm on point like my indexes. So all you will ever get is some of the fucking finger. Finger. Prostate exam. How can I have all these fans to perspire like a liar's pants? I'm on fire and I got no plans to retire. And I'm still the man you admire. These chicks are spazzing out. I only get more handsome and flyer. I got them passing out like what you do when you hand someone flyers. So it goes around, comes around. Such a stupid scheme, but so fun. He's handsome and flyer. Yeah. <laughs> you passing out flyers. So lame, but so funny and fun. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Just like the blades on the chainsaw. Cause I caught the flag, but my dollar stacked right off the bat like a baseball. Like kidding, bitch, I got them racks with so much ease that they call me Diddy. Cause I make bands and I call getting cheese a cakewalk. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a player. I'm too motherfucking stingy for share. Won't even lend you an ear. Ain't even pretending to care. But I tell a bitch I'm Mary of Shabaria. Face of my genital area. The original Richard Ramirez, Christian Rivera. Cause my lyrics never sit well, so they wanna give me the chair. Like a paraplegic and it's scary. Call it Harry Carry. Cause every time I'm digging Harry Carry, I'm Mary a motherfucking dictionary. I'm just wearing up and down. They can spit this shit's hilarious. It's time to. You hate this, this part, beat? this little, this little switch oh, up right here—it's very part. off. It's already like it's off. It's kind of like off key in a way. His his the way he's sounding. It like is his, weird that the beat dips out into this dramatic spot, but he doesn't go with it. it he doesn't strange. go with it at all. It is weird, and I, I've never noticed that up until this exact moment, it is and it's bothering odd. me. It kind of sounded like the double oh seven. Drink a happy pack, keep it as black ink. Evil half of the bad beats. Evil that means take a back seat, take a back to fat beats with a maxi single. That baseline's so iconic, though. Dun 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 dun. dun. It's such a good baseline. Yeah, all the YouTubers ruined it. Attacks these people. It's my gangster bitch like a patchy with a catchy jiggle. I stack chips. You better got a half eat Cheeto. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Mike? M, is that you? Oh, I ain't mean this. Please, man. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> With the venom and How stupid this thing oh, is. Fill him with the venom and eliminate him. Minimate him. Uh. Uh. Eliminate him. Other words, I'm enemy. I don't want to hurt him, but I did him in a fitter rage. I'm murdering again. Nobody will have been a fitter. Kill him and dump with the fucking bodies in a lake. Obliterating everything is generated. I'm gonna get him and make anybody who wanted with the pen and frame. Don't nobody want it, but they're gonna get it anyway. Cause I'm beginning to feel oh, like I'm gonna get it. Oh, Jack. All right. I love you. Adolf <laughs> Hitler dropping a dono Holy saying, shit. Me and my best friend Todd's favorite Eminem song is Foolish Pride because we hate black women and agree they steal your money. Damn. Well, um, Damn. don't like that on song. The, on that recorded record. Oh, that is wild, that dude. Is wild. That is also that in is the, a... that is, that is the, the deep Vort, archives. do not say, why is Vort saying that? Why are you know. saying that? You're How is Asian, that even bro. You think you'd be safe? Yeah, dude, you think you'd be safe? You would have fucking. They wouldn't even know that I'm Latino. I'd, I'd just fly right under the German rule. I'd be like, oh, yeah, been like, I'm kill one this, of you. Kill, kill that guy. Look at him. <laughs> This is slanty eyes. Like a gorilla, you're bringing a killer within me out of me. You don't want to be the enemy of the demon who enemy of being the receiving enemy. What stupidity it to be? Every bit of me is the epitome of a spitter when I'm in the vicinity. Motherfucker, you better duck or you finna be dead the minute you're an enemy. 100% of you is a fifth of a percent of me. I'm about to fucking finish you, bitch. I'm available. You want to battle? I'm available. I'm Was that a doll? Was that on a doll or two? I'm unavailable. I'm on the toilet wall. I got a trailer full of money and I'm paid for. I'm not afraid to pull them. Man, stop. Look what I'm planning. Good old. Good old Godzilla. I still enjoy that song. It's a, it's a nice little fun Eminem joint that was ruined by a lot of YouTube cringe. That was a hot fart is what that was. Jesus. All right, we'll womp. see you next time. Fuck off. Womp, 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 womp.